fantastic front yard. Backyard, not so much. Let's move. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. Hi. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And this is Roads of Faith. Last night, we parked in a lovely spot. So we thought. It was lovely. <laughs> it was. But the traffic was interestingly loud until about midnight. And then all you could hear was the ocean waves, which was really cool. And then about 5.30 this morning, there were heavy trucks and lots and lots of traffic. And I'm thinking, who in the world would be doing that at this time in the morning? <laughs> well, we passed a lot of multi-million dollar homes on our way on 101 that are overlooking the ocean. I suppose somebody has to work to pay for those things. So uh, all those hardworking people going to work, commuting to, I'm assuming, Brookings or maybe even Crescent City, but I doubt that. That's just, that's a little ways over the border. But we are at a state park right now where we maybe could have stayed, but it was $30 a night. And then it's, it's just, yeah, that's just too pricey. But uh, this is, uh, we're, we're gonna be looking for a new neighborhood tonight. And hopefully one that's a little quieter in the meantime. Another fabulous view of the ocean. This is one of the observation things at Harris, Harris Beach? Yes. Harris Beach State Park. And it's just not even a mile out of Brookings, north of Brookings, Brookings Oregon. And there's a little observation area down there too that we're gonna maybe go check out down there. Maybe go down to the beach. When you see how little those people are, it kind of gives you a more perspective of how big that is. I got really excited this morning. I looked out while I was eating breakfast and I was looking out at this beautiful scenery and and uh, <laughs> I, I thought I saw a whale jump and I got so excited and then I realized, oh no, it's a, it's a big rock or it's a smaller rock out there in the ocean that the, wa the waves were hitting and splashing up against it. it yeah, so, <laughs> oh well, one can only hope. Maybe yet we'll see something. Sea lions or whales or something. That's what we're hoping to find yet. So, this is uh, the next day. We did find a new neighborhood. Didn't realize that we were in California uh, when we did it. <laughs> We were looking for different things and we went a little south of Brookings, Oregon into California. Smith River. Smith River, California, uh, where there is a Lucky Seven Casino and they have up to three days free boondocking. Awesome. Our problem is that we have not been driving enough the last few days to really jazz up the batteries and we need to uh, recharge them better. So we are, we're gonna, head, we're heading for Crescent City right now. We'll see how far we go because the Redwoods are in between and that could take some time. You gotta take a look at those. We've seen them before and they're awesome. But we wanted to tell you a, a story about some people we met yesterday. The funny thing is when we were go going from our beautiful view but noisy boondocking spot north of Brookings. We were coming into Brookings and on the left was a state park. We did not know at that time that we could get, a, that there was a free dump station. I think at the time we were looking for a free dump station with pop water and that didn't come up. I'm not sure why we passed it, but we did. But there was a reason for that because otherwise we would not have met Bethany and Harley. 
they were, uh, we, we came back later. We did some errands, we did some groceries shopping, and we did some other things. And we came into um, the dump station there at the state park later in the afternoon. It was about maybe 3 o'clock, 2.30, I think, maybe. And we were in line. They were ahead of us, and we were waiting. And he had on an Ohio sweatshirt and t-shirt and cap and um, our son-in-law is from Ohio and he's a big Ohio fan and so that kind of struck up a conversation and you get to talking and you find out that they're living full-time in their RV because he and his wife were both vets and she was injured and is now dis disabled and she needs pretty much round the clock care for her and the kids. And so he quit his job to take care of her and the kids. Young couple. This is not, I mean, this is a very young couple. They have their, their baby is going to be a year old this month. And then they have uh, three other children, three other boys. So they have four children all together. And a big dog and a little lap dog. <laughs> that they um, also have traveling with them and they're living in their RV full time. We exchanged some ideas, some thoughts. They didn't even know about Quartzite. So we told them about that. They're headed the same way we are. We're probably, we exchanged phone numbers and hugs and everything before we left. I'm telling you the people we have met, just, we, we learned some things from them. They learned some things from us. There's just a lot of people that their stories of why they are doing what they're doing is just, it's not all about being wealthy and just traveling like some people think our you know, full-time RVers are. There's a lot of stories out there of people who are down and out and this is all they can afford and this is what they're doing and um, I'm sure we'll be introducing you to some more too. Jedediah Smith State Park, that's where we saw the redwoods a few years ago. So I think we're going to be stopping there soon. I'll show you some redwoods. I don't think they'll fit in the camera. They're big.